Hi everyone, I'm Becca and I'm the manager of gallery activities at Cincinnati Museum Center. Today I'm going to be demonstrating one of our favorite programs that we offer in the Museum of Natural History and Science and showing you how you can play it in your own home. This activity is called Dinosaur Sizes. It's inspired by Cincinnati Museum Center's amazing dinosaur hall, which features uh, six awe-inspiring specimens that you can't find anywhere else in the world. I love this activity because it makes math fun while also letting us see just how big some of our favorite prehistoric friends were. So to do this activity, the main thing you need is a big open space. I really love to be outside for it, but if that's just not possible because it's raining, then you could focus on some of our smaller dinosaur friends and choose a room in your house. Uh, some other things that you're going to need is some rope. If you don't have any rope, some alternative ideas could be a garden hose or some fishing string, some thread, whatever you have. We also use clothespins at the museum, but if you don't have any of these guys laying around, uh, you could use some hair clips, paper clips, or even chip clips. Uh, the other thing that you're really going to want is measuring tape, and that's because what we do for this activity is we measure our heights and see how they compare to the lengths of our favorite dinosaurs. All right, for this activity, I've asked a couple of my friends to help me out and do some games with me. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Okay. Guys, what's your favorite dinosaur? T-Rex. Both of you guys? All right, we can do that. He's got lots of sharp teeth. So if he likes to eat meat, do you know what he's called? A carnivore. A carnivore, awesome. That's right, I like it too, yes, because it's a carnivore and because I like meat. You like meat too? Yeah, yeah. so do I. I like to do that. You wanna do that? All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take my rope. All right, do you guys see these black lines on this rope? Uh -huh. Yeah, these each mean one foot. So if he's 40 feet, how many lines are we gonna need? 40? Okay. All right, let's go. Want to be the head? All right. We have the most teeth. Yeah. Okay. So then I'm going to have you stand just where you are, okay? And then I'm going to have you walk as far as you can until the string is all the way across. Before this, we did a little research to discover that the Tyrannosaurus rex is believed to have been around 40 feet long based on the fossils found. The rope helps us visualize this distance. So you guys predicted he was almost as big as the street, and you're right! Do you think there are dinosaurs that were bigger than the T-Rex? Spinosaurus! You think a Spinosaurus? Yeah, what are some other bigger dinosaurs? I don't know. You don't know? You've got one right on your shirt. A Brachiosaurus! Yeah, do you think he was longer than the T-Rex? Yeah, he does have a really long neck. He's got a really long tail, too. Do you want to predict how long he's going to be? Whoops. Where do you think this is going to go? All the way down? All right. You think all the way into the grass? All right, you guys ready to find out? All right, you're gonna meet my teeth again. The second dinosaur we chose was a Brachiosaurus. When investigating, we found various lengths from the fossils found, so we settled on 90 feet. At Cincinnati Museum Center, one of the dinosaurs you can visit is the Apatosaurus. It is one of the best preserved Apatosaurus skulls and the only one found with the jaw attached. While the Apatosaurus is shorter in length and had differences in body structure, the Brachiosaurus was also a sauropod from the late Jurassic period. Do you guys want to yell that number? What's the number? Nine. 90. 90 feet! So you said, what was your second favorite? The triceratops. triceratops. Why do you like the Triceratops? Because he's got big horns. Does he eat meat? No, so what's he called? Herbivore. There it says four feet and three and a half feet. Our last dinosaur, the Triceratops, is believed to have been around 30 feet long. This time we wanted to see just how big the Triceratops was compared to us. 
After laying the rope out, we measured ourselves and used clips to mark where our heights were. Two. Do you see the next three? Three. Three. All right, now we're gonna put it where this five is. You guys are like a Triceratops leg. <laughs> As you can see, there are so many variations of this program and so much you can learn, and that is one of the reasons why I love it so much. Uh, if you want to continue learning, some other questions you can ask are, how do the sizes of modern animals like the blue whale compare to the lengths of dinosaurs? Um, you could look up what other adaptations dinosaurs have in order to survive in their environment. You can also become a MythBuster and investigate are dinosaurs actually extinct? I hope you had fun with me today. My team and I look forward to seeing you back in the Cincinnati Museum Center when we reopen. Uh, be sure for more activities and lesson plans to follow us at cincymuseum.org as well as on social media. We are a nonprofit, so we rely on ticket sales in order to operate. And unfortunately, that's just not possible for us right now. If you had fun today, I hope you'll consider supporting us at cincymuseum.org and I'll see you next time.